I sh you not. You would <laughs> you would especially be on a Sunday, and I'm stood sitting there with Mrs. And you'd put something along the lines of, I, I've just sh my pants, so <laughs> I've had to throw my undies out of the window of the toilet. There must be about five pounds of hash browns on this plate alone. Oh God, this is going to be a hard one, right? I, I just about finish it, so I stand up and I just kind of felt this sensation of something dropping in my stomach. <laughs> I'm almost there, right? I, the, the holy grail is there in front of me. So I run in and I turn and... I Talk about Adam's trip to Canada and shitting himself. Oh, we going there this early? <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is what you get. This is what you're gonna get with this podcast. A little bit of uh, the stuff that doesn't necessarily make it into some of my videos that we can chat about. Yeah, the trip to Canada was good, and um, I mean accidents happen, you know. Luckily, Mrs. Beard does tend. Well, she packs my case because I'm, you know, these. Are, I think a man child. Yeah, I, I'm, you need to have like some kind of. You should be working for NASA if you're packing suitcases like that because. I don't know how she fits it all in, but um, yeah, she luckily packs like, if, I, if I'm going somewhere for, you know, 20 days, she'll pack 26 pairs of underwear, <laughs> just in case the worst happens. You want me to tell you the full story? Yeah, I think I do. I mean, oh, like yeah. a, a backstory. I mean, you, you obviously, you're not bothered. You don't, you don't ever get embarrassed from when I've ever known you. But there has been times where I've been literally stood at home with my missus, Sunday lunchtime, and I'll get a, a WhatsApp and it's from Adam. <laughs> And I, 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 I sh you not. You would, you would especially be on a Sunday, and I'm stood sit there with Mrs. And you'd put something along the lines of, I, I've just shit my pants, so I've had to throw my undies out of the window of the toilet, and I've then, <laughs> and I've then had to go collect them on my way out. That was a, that was a different time. So it, yeah, it, hap it happens. It's, it's not like I, I'm doing it every week, but like okay, in, in my line of work, in case you don't know what I do, yeah, I, I eat lots of food. And sometimes if you if you push past the envelope, you know, sometimes the worst does happen. But um that that was a different time. But yeah, I, I got um I got caught short in a in a, a toilet in a in a in, I forget the name of the, the restaurant now. Um and I thought well either I'm walking back out into this restaurant because it was like a little crowd had amassed, right? Which sometimes happens. Uh, I thought I can't walk out with underwear in my hands, right? I'm not putting shitty underwear in my pockets. So what do I do? I thought I can't flush them because that's going to wreck their plumbing. <laughs> so I'm, I'm looking for options, try to problem solve on the fly. And there's a window right above the toilet, like there often is. Yeah, yeah. So I, you know, I pop the window and I look out and I'm thinking, right, there aren't many people around. There's kind of a, a van blocking the like the view of this part. So I thought I'll hoy them out the window, <laughs> and then we, it'll be like two minutes before we leave. Hopefully, nobody will come across these shitty pants. It worked out in the end. We we left. Said see you later picked up the pants on the way out, threw them in a, a nearby skip. You know, I've, I've got, be, nobody, nobody was the wiser. I've got this vision of, of Mrs. Beard at home. You know, like when you were at primary school and you'd have like an iron in sort of sticker at the back and it says like Adam Moran, age 36. <laughs> and there's just these shitty, shitty knickers. I don't want to make out like I'm in my pants, you know, 24 seven. It's just, it, it happens occasionally and I'm happy to confess to it. So what happened in Canada then? How Can did you shit yourself oh, in Canada? Man. Canada was like, I was so I was so close. I almost did, you know, I almost got away with it. But like I I I did this uh, food challenge right, which was a, a big Canadian breakfast, and it's supposed to be about I don't know maybe five six pounds, and I had done one the day before, which I normally don't do. But if I'm you know on 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 a shoot in a location, for example, Canada, where I've specifically travelled there to yeah. shoot lots of content, uh, I might do two in a day if I have to, right? So anyway, I, I looked at this picture. I'm thinking that that's easy enough. I get to the restaurant and uh, I whip the cameras out, which naturally alarms the chef. They'd be thinking, what's going on here, right? And uh, so he starts making it and he puts some uh, hash browns on the on the grill, right on the griddle. Um, but not what I think of as hash browns, not individ not like the ones you get the, from McDonald's. Like them scattered out like Yeah, kind of like, like, like they, I guess they were kind of called like home fries. So it's kind of onions, potatoes, yeah. just mashed up into a, you know, a loose mix. And I'm like, wow, that's, that's actually quite a lot of um, of hash browns there, right? But it should be all right because there's some big pancakes on it as well, bacon, sausage. I'm like, that should be all right. So he plates it up and then I'm taking some shots of something else, getting some B-roll, some nice fancy B-roll. And um, I come back and there's two more equal sized portions of hash browns on the grill. And I'm thinking, well, that must be somebody else's order. And maybe yeah. they've just ordered a large portion of hash browns or whatever. Nah, he, he puts those on as well. So there must be about five pounds of hash browns on this plate alone. Right, without all the other stuff on top, it lands on my plate uh, on on my table, and I'm thinking, oh god, this is going to be a hard one, right? Sometimes you just want to. It's not always about me, you know, trying to eat till I pop. It's, it's just it's as supposed well, to be it? entertainment, yeah. right? So I, a lot of the time, I'm thinking, right, I'm if I'm if there's if I'm going to do a, a really big one that's going to be hard, 
I'll do a bit of prep, you know, in the morning. I'll do so, a few little stretches and stuff. This I've not prepared for, and I've done something pretty heavy the day before. Anyway, long story short, I, I, I just about finished it, but it took me, it was hard work, right? At the end, I'm like, oh, I need, I need to stand up here, which you normally do, you know, I loosen things things up a little. So I stand up and I just kind of felt this sensation of something dropping in my stomach, <laughs> and I kind of a gurgling sound, and I'm like, oh, wow, I instantly, I need to, to poop, you know? Yeah. But in, uh, in in Canada, North America, it's not uncommon for them to lock the bathrooms, right? And restaurants are supposed to stop like smackheads using them or, or whatever. Um, but um, I, I, I didn't know that at first. I knew where the toilet was. So yeah. I went to go use the toilet, leaving all my camera gear behind, which is kind of risky in itself. Um, I'm, I'm trying to door, the door doesn't open. <laughs> so I come back and I'm like, oh, it must require a key. Chef, the chef's gone, the, the waitress is gone, nobody's around. So I'm, the, if you look at the CCTV footage from that restaurant, it must be hilarious because I'm just like, Kind of dan- dancing on the spot like this like finch from american pie <laughs> and um yeah eventually she comes back i'm like i need to get in the toilet and she's like oh yeah just take the key honey and i'm like okay so i take the key then i couldn't get the the, the key to work right in the door my like uh, my dexterity wasn't what it should be and I'm, so i'm like brushing right like, every with every second that goes by i'm getting closer and closer to it right so in the end i get in I finally get in i'm, I'm, I'm almost there right I, that, the holy grail is there in front of me <laughs> So I run in and I turn and I actually took my bag. But in the in the time it took for me to get the key, I'd put my two most expensive cameras in in my camera bag. Yeah. I thought if the other one gets nicked, fine, all right. But I'm taking these two with me. So I, I throw my bag into the, the the corner of the cubicle and I turn to lock the door. And as I turned, I don't know what I did, but <laughs> intra abdominal pressure increased and I just went. <laughs> 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 I'm so close, man. I'm almost there. <laughs> the toilet's right there. And then, yeah, sure. I don't want, I won't get into too much detail. I don't want to gross people out, but um, it wasn't the the worst, um, you know, yeah. colonic debacle of my life. But um, yeah, certainly the pants. Luckily, they'd have been next to the toilet though, so I didn't need to throw it anywhere. Pants went in the bin. That's an incredible story. Like, yeah. I, I, it's so funny because imagine how many people, and there must be in your comment sections of whatever video you do, whether it's a quantity, spice, I imagine a spice one, they'll want like a, can we have a behind the scenes of what it's like the morning after? How often do you get that question? Yeah, a lot actually, because people, especially these days, because my, my videos have actually over the years gotten um, quite significantly shorter. That's like an intentional thing yeah. because I want them to be pacey, you know, dynamic and like all killer, no filler. I hate videos that go on for 25 minutes for no reason, just so you can spam them full of ads. You oh, know? There was some 41 album on it. Yeah, it was a great album. Um, and... Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's so, but because of that, the people that have been around ages, they're like, oh, I really miss when they were longer and they had like a bunch of shit in them, you know, yeah, all that kind of shit. But um, yeah, so a lot of people want to see what happens after. And normal is boring, you know, more often than not. But I'm not, in addition to that, I'm not going to take the camera in. I wasn't worried about taking a camera and vlogging myself <laughs> in my pants, you know, although I'm sure it would have been humorous. Um, but yeah, I, people ask me to do behind the scenes stuff all the time. But. You get that on your early fans, mate. You know, when it yeah. times start getting hard, if we have a, a if you have a rough year next year, that's that's what's going. Yeah. <laughs>